Wednesday's Win News, bringing you the best news stories from our region and the state. Tonight, the beach tragedy, a whale washes up on the south coast, sparking shark fears. Debate reignited, is a carbon tax back on the government's agenda? And shocking statistics, regional areas record the worst drowning record in seven years. Good evening, I'm Matthew Snelson. There have been sad scenes on the south coast after a young humpback whale washed up dead. Authorities spent the day assessing the 10 metre long mammal, which they believe may have died in an accident almost a week ago. Coming up next on Win News, fire rips through a hotel, a small community left shattered. And the dark side of Australia's largest flower show, the nighttime spectacular wowing crowds. has been a big blow to a small Riverina community. A fire ripped through Carothal's only pub overnight and police are treating it as suspicious. It's a devastating event for a community which relies on an injection of funds from its annual race day. Sport is next. Wendell Saylor gives us the inside tips for footy finals and going green. There's still hope for Raiders fans. The Green Machine plays for a grand finals berth in the Toyota Cup. There's still hope for Green Machine supporters. The Toyota Cup Raiders side is just one win away from securing a spot in the 2010 Grand Final. Canberra will take on the first place South Sydney Rabbitohs in Saturday's curtain raiser at ANZ Stadium. Meanwhile, the Dragons have headed to Sydney a couple of days early in preparation for Saturday night's Telstra Premiership Grand Final qualifier. It's do or die for the minor premiers. And for his take on the game, here's Win Television's Wendell Saylor. Well, welcome back to another edition of Wendell's Wrap. Two weeks ago, we had eight teams. Now we're down to the final four. St. George Illawarra are certainly in the mix. We all know that. The boys have trained and played well all season. This weekend is going to be a tough assignment against the West Tigers. And Benji Marshall for mine has matured wholeheartedly as a player. He doesn't just look for the big plays now. He's more of a team man. And he's going to be dangerous come Saturday night. And I've got to say, my big mate, Lottie Dekiri. He certainly used up Usain Bolt. I don't think he met Usain Bolt, but he said he inspired him. I gave him a call and said, mate, you didn't even meet Usain Bolt. And he said, I know, but I run like him. So that was quite funny for my mind. Well, I nearly fell off my chair Monday morning when I read the papers to say that St. George Illawarra fans don't back their team enough. Ben Elias came out and said that they don't travel. I know they travel because I've seen them far and wide. And I've got to say, Saturday night, the Red V Army will be there in force. Well, the Titans-Roosters match is going to be a hard one to tip. I'm not sure who I want to go for here. But I think the Titans will get home, and they deserve to get home. The last couple of years, they've certainly been a force in the competition. Well, John Cartwright has got a great headache leading into the match. William Zillman, five-star performance two weeks ago, and now he has Preston Campbell available. And in my team, I'd have Preston Campbell every day of the week in there because he inspires you, and he's what a team's all about. And I think he's the heart and soul of that team. Scotty Prince might get a bit of raps, but Preston Campbell, for mine, is one of the great players in our game today, and one of the best blokes. Well, speaking of good blokes... Congratulations to Luke Prittis, who has been nominated for St George Illawarra Dragons Ambassador for the Ken Stephen Medal. He's done a lot of wonderful work in the community, not only here, but also for the Luke Prittis Foundation. Well done, Prito. You've been an inspiration to not only the team, but also to your family. Well, that's another Wendell's wrap. And remember, the Red V is a part of me. That's all for sport. Weather is next. Then a look at conditions on the slopes. Rain around in the capital, Illawarra and south coast today, but fine in the Riverina in central west. Looking at the satellite photo, cloud over Queensland in moist, unstable easterlies is generating potentially severe storms in the south and rain in central parts. There's cloud elsewhere across the north and that's causing a few showers. Low cloud over the southeast coasts in cool onshore winds is only causing light showers. To the synoptic chart, a high-pressure system over the bite is semi-stationary and extends a ridge into the Tasman Sea, bringing mostly fine weather to western and southern districts. There's also very little movement in a trough over northeastern New South Wales, and this will continue to generate showers and thunderstorms throughout the weekend. Sunny across most parts tomorrow, with temperatures peaking in the 20s, Wollongong a top of 22, Canberra 21, 22 for Batemans Bay, Bega and Albury and Wagga, Griffith, a low of 4 up to 22, Dubbo reaching 23, Orange a top of 17. Now for a check on the latest conditions at the ski fields, here's Kelly Schlecht. In Perisher, I'm Kelly Schlecht for Win News. And that is Win News for Thursday the 23rd of September. Join us again tomorrow for the best hour of news from 6 from the Win News team. Thanks for watching. Good night.
This has been a Win News presentation from Win Television, Australia's largest commercial television network.